Hey everybody, just down by the pond here, looking for frogs, seeing if there's uh, any tadpoles swimming around. But, uh, today I wanted to talk about um, <clears throat> my, uh, my thoughts on this 2022 CF Moto U-Force 1000 XL. So yes, you read that. It's got 350, I think two or three miles on it now, just over 350. And I've, it's now 2024. <clears throat> I bought it in 2022. So we're talking about two years old. And in that time frame, it doesn't sound like a lot of miles, but we've done a lot of fun stuff with it. We've already taken it on one or two little trips. Um, we've, I plowed my uh, driveway and my road with it regularly. That is actually what the, I use it for the most in the winter time uh, for plowing. But then I also, <clears throat> we use it for riding on the trails. Um, we use it for uh, going out and getting to my hunting stand in the, in, the, in the fall. And, you know, if I harvest the deer and it's way out there, I'll use it to get out there and put it in the bed, bring it back, stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's out 350 miles doesn't sound like a lot, but it has, it definitely hasn't been babied. Hasn't been 350 miles just putting around the garden, you know? So uh, here's a clip going through a pretty deep mud hole. Just actually just today, I was out uh, cutting some trees that had fallen and were blocking some of the trails. So I, want, I wanted to go out there and trim some of that up, getting ready for this coming ATV season. And uh, black flies are bad, man. But uh, <clears throat> so here's a clip of that going through this puddle. And if you see this, it was it was deeper than I thought because we've had some rain, so that that puddle was filled up pretty high. And uh, but I think now and now I'll put a shot of uh, inside the cabin going through that same puddle. And then later, uh, this was a couple years ago. I think it was like the first winter we bought it. I we take we had taken it. We got some some good snow and the ground was frozen. We actually took uh, some family and friends and my daughter and we tied a, uh, a snow tube to the back of the machine and uh, <laughs> we towed it down the dirt road that we live on and my daughter just thought that was the funnest thing she's ever done. She had a blast doing that and uh, here's probably a clip of that. And then like I said, I've done, I've used this a lot for um, plowing plow my driveway, my road, uh, you know, I'll run over to like my in-laws house maybe if, there, if there's a lot of snow and I'll help them knock the end down. Uh, so this has gotten gotten a lot of use over the years uh, just with uh, just with plowing snow. I mean, and this machine, let me tell you, in four wheel drive diff lock, I can't believe the amount of snow this machine will push. It's crazy. And same thing going through that big puddle, that clip I showed you earlier. Uh, I put it in diff lock there and the tires didn't even spin. There was a couple big rocks to get over and there was some, it was kind of a soggy bottom. The tires didn't even spin, man. This thing in diff lock is just unbelievable. <clears throat> I just wanted to show you guys the odometer. Show you the miles of what are we at here. Three fifty-four. All right, guys. So remember, please like, subscribe, and if you like this video, if you like, uh, if you're thinking about a U-Force One Thousand XL, go check out my other videos on the channel. I've got some things that I like, some things I don't like. Uh, I've got a video for the plow that I actually use, uh, and and I've got some other content, some some exercise, some lifestyle content on there, some more coming. So make sure you like, subscribe, uh, share this with somebody else <clears throat> and let me know your thoughts. How many miles, if you've got a U-Force, let me know how many miles you got. If you don't have a U-Force just, and you have a side by, different side by side, just let me know how many miles you got. Cause sometimes it's crazy. I mean, I've seen guys up North where we live with like 10,000, 20,000, 30,000 miles on their side by side. Cause they just live on dirt roads and can just go for miles and miles, you know? And, I will say this machine loves just a wide open dirt road. Put it in high and just let her go. She loves it. But all right, guys, I think that's it for today. I'll uh, I'm gonna throw a little montage and maybe some more clips that I can find in here of the machine doing work and enjoying and whatnot. So, all right, talk to you guys later. See ya.
one. That was deeper than I thought. <laughs>